For the time will tell the truth, and everything that glitters is not glory. My friends, here I place forth my story. I was a child who cried, who sobbed on the paper till the words would spread out, like the bonds into my dwelling which broke with all the wrong chemical reactions, and sadly, Mr. Newton, they were equally opposite to all of the cruel actions. I've always wanted to shout, but now you placed a mic before me. I see more than I expected. 10, 20, 30. But where are those faces, the ones that I want to see? I am in a form, check. Oil in my hair, check. Polish shoes, check. A mark sheet with expected grades, double check. But coming home, I feel those empty places, those awake corners, and I see no one at the deck. I don't hear my name being called out as my eyes crinkle, jobs twinkle, and my feet run cold. It gets even harder for me as these torn pages of my life stories book unfold. I had daddy issues just like the neighborhood, but unlike them, my mom never stood. I had love, I had light inside my soul, which ignited up like the flame of a candle, and suddenly, it all got too hard for me to handle. Into my teens now, and still pondering upon how it faded away to gray. Hey mom, hey dad, why did you have to end it up and fall apart one fine day? And then, when I grew old, I heard the story being told by my father's daughter. It was about my mother. She said they had sex, and before I could relax, she said they were unmarried and my sister they carried. It was then it became official, although it wasn't any social, and for seven years in a row she had to go through surgeries because girls were allergic to my dad and the family. And my sister felt like an enemy. And the age, she said, was me in the bed. And hearing that, I already felt dead. And now they are not together. This house feels like a slaughter where they killed seven daughters with many superstitious mortals. Uh, all right, thank you. That's all.